In this episode, you'll learn the importance of properly monitoring your shot. Adorama TV presents DSLR Video Skills, where you'll learn all about photography and videography. Here's your host, Rich Harrington. Hi, this is Rich Harrington for Autorama TV, and today we're talking about DSLR video skills. Now, I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is monitoring. If you're used to shooting with still photos, you know that you've got a lot of latitude these days with camera raw. A little overexposed, no big deal, just recover the highlights. A little dark, just lift it up. Well, when shooting video, it's like you're back to the dark ages. It's JPEG all over again. In fact, it's worse than JPEG. It's heavier compression. So if you don't get it right in camera, you don't get it right. You could do some fixing in post-production, but it's pretty minimal. So you're going to want to get that exposure accurate. You need to get focus, you need to get exposure, and to pull that off, you need proper monitoring. So when shooting stills, you're used to a pretty easy thing, right? We just put it right up to the eye, and we can see. Problem here with video, goes dead. That's because you can't use the mirrors. So instead, you're relying on the live view on the back. And this just isn't very ergonomic. You could hold it up all day, use the camera strap, but it gets pretty bad. Plus, without a hood on the front here, we're gonna get flares, and it's gonna be very difficult to tell what's going on. Now, if you're really in a pinch, simplest thing you could do, grab a piece of duvetine, your jacket, a sweatshirt, anything. You could just drape that over your head, and that's gonna help. You'll be able to see the exposure, but you know what? can't really see anything else. Plus, you're probably going to scare the kids in the neighborhood, so you might want to think about a more professional approach. We've got a couple of things we could do for that. One thing is pretty easy. A lot of you already have one of these, a Hoodman loop. You can adapt your existing loop, or you can get a whole new one. This is a Hoodman crane, and it's designed to go ahead and just hook right up on the hot shoe there. You could then adjust its position and get it so it's a nice snug fit. Angle the cup, and you see now, pretty cool. What we get is a little bit of a magnification on the image. It's going to make it larger so it's easier to see. Kind of looks like you're looking at a small television set. It brings that up a bit. And you get three points of contact. Instead of having to hold that camera in front and start to get the shakes, you pull it back in. You got one hand on the camera, one hand on the lens, and touching here on the eye. When you do that with three points of contact, more stability. It's going to really give you a better shot. Now, this is just one manufacturer. There are others out there. In this case here, I've got a Z Finder attached to the back. Now, Zacuto makes a whole range of rigs, and this is a Gorilla plate. You see that it actually has a little metal plate right on the back of the camera. Makes it very easy for this to snap into place. Now, it's a good idea to go ahead and attach this to the camera body, because you're running and gunning. This pops off and drops on the ground you're going to find yourself having to replace it after a few solid drops. So I recommend that you keep it attached to the camera body. You will see a diopter on the top. Be careful with that. The diopter is designed for those of you who need glasses and take them off when you shoot. So you can make minor adjustments. What I see happen a lot more is somebody bumps this and they've got the camera off and so they're like, why is it all out of focus? The easiest thing to do is call up the menus on the back of your camera and then adjust the diopter till the menus look in focus. Because see, you know the menus are in focus. You don't have to make any adjustments to the lens. You just call the menu page up, look through the viewfinder, and adjust the diopter till you have proper focus. Then you can feel much more confident when shooting. Same idea here with three points of contact. I've got a shoulder rig here, and as I pull that in, I've got a point of contact here on the face, and in this case, I'm using two hand grips and the shoulder four solid points of contact, so a very stable platform for shooting, good feel, good ergonomics. Because let's face it, the DSLR just is not that ergonomically designed for shooting. Modifying it with the rig and an eyepiece goes a long, long way. Now, two more things you can do, and it's really up to you. I have a background as being a video shooter, so one of the things I like is a true electronic viewfinder. That's what I have here, also from Zacuto. Now, this can pop up and flip up, and you see I'm actually using the same sort of Z Finder as an eyepiece. This has a whole menu system. You could see things like false color to help you judge exposure. You've got zebra bars to help you show overexposed areas. You've got the ability to see peaking and focus assist, focus in red, histograms, waveforms, all sorts of great things. 
Now, it comes at a price, but if you want small portability, runs just off of a Canon battery, it's gonna work really nicely for those of you that are used to having those more robust shooting options. I like the fact that it has audio meters and I can clearly see the audio levels while I'm recording. So not only is it a nice high resolution image, it's very clear. Now some of you are saying, well, how's that any better, right? You know, this screen is about the exact same size as this screen. Think of it this way, iPhone 1, iPhone 4. This is like a retina display, higher resolution. So when you're using that, you're gonna get a clearer image. It's gonna be a lot easier to see what's going on. A big gotcha, these things have caps and even sun shields. This is a magnifying glass. So you got that dangling out there just sitting on set, the sun hits down into it. You let the sun go through that, hits the screen, hits the back of your camera, you will burn things. You can get a nice big sunspot or you can even melt things. Remember, giant magnifying glass. So when not in use, be sure to put the cap on there to protect your investment. Now, the last thing you might do, particularly if you're on a bigger set, is take advantage of a field monitor. Right here, I've got a flashpoint model, and you'll see I could pop this open. Got a built-in hood. What's nice about that hood is it lets me go ahead and look in, and I could see what's going on. So the cool thing here is we've got this built in, we've got a histogram. This particular model will actually run off of a battery or direct power, so it's very, very flexible. Lots of choices. There's other manufacturers for these as well, but this is great when you're in a collaborative environment. You got clients on set, you're shooting, you want them to be able to see what you're doing. It's kind of hard to share the viewfinder. This lets people see what's going on. Plus, I could use these two together. You'll notice, for example, right here on my Zacuto electronic viewfinder, it loops out. So I can go from the camera to my viewfinder and then loop out to my monitor that the client looks at. So, pretty straightforward. Remember, if you don't properly monitor the shot, there's not much you can do after the fact. There is no filter that fixes focus. You have limited ability to compensate for exposure problems. I'll teach you how to fix them, and I'll show you everything I know about fixing color inside your favorite NLE, but if you start right, you're going to be a lot happier in the end. For DSLR video skills, my name's Rich Harrington. I invite you to head on over to Adorama, where you should check out the Learning Center. Tons of articles, product reviews, great things online to give you some practical advice to improve the quality of your next video project. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.